Hi everyone, just a quick video on how you calculate percentage composition by mass. So I'm going to use these three questions here. So that's the easiest one. It's a little bit more difficult. And number three is the most difficult, but it's not that bad, honestly, uh, once you've got your head around the method. So for the first question, we've got to calculate the percentage composition by mass of copper in copper to oxide. So the first thing we need to do is work out the relative formula mass the mass of the whole thing. Okay, so we've got one copper and one oxygen, so it's 63.5 for the copper, 16 for the oxygen, so that's 79.5. Basically, all we're calculating is of that 79.5, what percentage of the mass is coming from copper. So the way we do that is we take the mass of copper, 63.5, divide by the total, 79.5 times 100 puts it into a percentage and that comes out at 79.9%. So nice and easy. The second one's a little bit trickier because we've got two nitrogens in ammonium nitrate. Method's exactly the same. So first thing I'm going to do is work out the relative formula mass. So we've got two nitrogens, four hydrogens and three oxygens. So that comes out at 80. So the thing to be careful with is we've got two nitrogens in this. So of that 80, we've actually got two times 14. So 28 is contributing to that 80. So 28, or you can put two times 14 in a bracket. So 28 over 80 times 100, and that comes out at 35%. Okay, so the last one, um, what's the percentage composition by mass of H2O in this um, compound? This is called hydrated magnesium sulfate. So this is represent, we represent these hydrated salts by what's called a dot formula. So because of that dot there. And basically it separates two part, the two parts of the salt. So we've got this part here. So there's one of those and then there's seven waters. So the relative formula mass of this comes out at 246.4. So what's the percentage composition by mass of H2O in that? Well, there's seven H2Os that make up that total mass. So we're gonna put seven times 18 on the top, divide by the total 246.4. Multiply by 100, and the answer comes out at 51.1%. So that's how you do it.